Dear faithful communicators, of course we're called to follow Jesus Christ. God speaks, we listen, we respond. We have high orders from God. But do you know that to help us with this, Jesus Christ advocates on our behalf. He is our advocate. Jesus Christ represents us to the Father. He's the one that communicates for us. He's like the attorney on our behalf, making the case for us, even though our communication is not perfect. Jesus Christ is the mediator on our behalf, our advocate. And our response to this advocacy on our behalf should be that we become advocates on behalf of others. We use the gift of communication to advocate for others. We use the gift of communication to vocate, vocation, to speak on behalf of others. It's one of our great callings to speak on behalf of others, to speak for others, not just for ourselves, though we should certainly speak for ourselves as well. In Scripture, the ones that it's clearest that we're called to advocate for are those who are weak, those who are powerless. And we could say that in terms of communication, this often comes down to those who are voiceless. And it may be those who are voiceless because, in fact, they have some kind of genetic problem they are born without certain gifts of communication that we take for granted. Or it may be those who are voiceless because of the way that the power structures are set up in society. They don't have access to the media. They don't have access to the local political powers. They don't have access to those who are in charge. Perhaps they can't afford it. Perhaps they don't even have an internet connection. So it's the voiceless that in effect become our neighbors, those in need around us, that we are called to offer our gifts of communication on behalf of, to advocate for. And when we do this, we become living sacrifices. Alive, sacrificing our gifts on behalf of others, putting our gifts into service for others rather than just for ourselves. Our neighbors are those in need. That's a good biblical definition of a neighbor, someone in need that we come across who needs help. And some of the people that we come across simply need help in communication. My wife is in the medical field, and one of the things that she has learned is that often people who are in the hospital do not even understand what their rights are there. They don't understand what's happening with all the medical stuff. They don't know enough to be able to make wise decisions, even on behalf of themselves. They need an advocate someone there who will help them and speak for them. Not what the person wants them to say, but once informed what that person wants to say, to give voice for them on their behalf. The gift of communication is a wonderful gift, but it's not our own. It's to be given on behalf of our neighbor, as well as ourselves, and to the glory of God. Shalom.